Uchi Jamba. Uchi Jamba. Uchi Jamba. Uchi 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 Jamba. Today we are ranking 80s TV catchphrases. Have you anybody? No! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on and join us. Is that how it goes? G.I. Joe! And knowing is half the battle. I want my MTV. What my MTV? Pardon me, would you have any gray poupon? But of course. Nanu, nanu. I've fallen and I can't get up. I'm having chest pains. <laughs> Kiss my grits. <laughs> Kiss my grits. Where's the meat? Hey. Let's be careful out here. Welcome back. Are we going? To the twerk? Yes. Oh. Ethic, yes. Yeah. Show. Yeah. 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 New year, same crummy attitude. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm kidding. You are. You don't bring a crummy attitude. I'm such a ketter. To the twerk ethic. I try not to. Maybe crumb B. Oh. Leaving crumbs. Oh, yeah. Because we, huh. like, we like food. Oh, uh, yeah. Which, we do. How could you be a human and not like food? Yeah, exactly. It is part of... Well, it's part of living. Yeah. And if you want to stay alive, you better eat. Well, I've heard you know, people like Elon Musk and some of those guys like talk about how if they, had the, if they had the option to just eat out of a tube so they didn't have to stop working, I might... Wow. No. No. No, I need... I, I like eating. Yeah, exactly. And I like to take my time sometimes eating, or else I'm a human. Gar- I'm a human garbage disposal. So, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> <laughs> just suck it all down. If you make those noises too, that would be even more impressive. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this: hmm. Do you like? Because I know I do. You like to eat while you're watching a show. I do. I do too. Like to the point where. I won't eat until the show's playing. There's a couple of shows that I eat to. Oh, you have eat to shows. Mm-hmm. What are they? Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. Oh yeah, I got it. Friends. And what else do I? Oh, kit, uh, Kitchen Nightmares. It's dominated by Gordon That's Ramsay. Pretty interesting. I have go to sleep shows. Yeah, but eat to shows. I do too. That's a, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, most of it has to deal with food, but. Well, speaking of TV, we were talking uh, outside with my neighbor, Coach. Yeah. What up? If hey, you're Coach. Uh, we had a great conversation about why we're able to you do... You better listen, Coach. <laughs> why we're able to okay. do 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, things like this, like this nostalgia. It's because back in that day, everybody watched the same thing. That's true. You had no... You really had no choice. Yeah, like it, with the internet, there's a lot more individualism and yeah you know you watch like a very unique youtube show like the twerk ethics show yeah uh but not everybody welcome by the way yet watches that but back in the day there was only a certain amount of television shows Mm, and that's why we can be so nostalgic with such a large group of people sure you know yeah that's true um well i remember america's funniest home videos oh yeah hosted by the late great bob saget um, the first time the episode was on, I remember the episode clearly because I remember going to school the next day and all the kids talking about it. Yeah. And we were just kind of like talking about, and there's one where there was, uh, doing a woo, tubing, yeah. uh, down snow, down hill. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> just, and Bob Saget was doing the overdub and he was like over the river and through the woods to grandma's house we and they hit a bump and he goes go (laughs) and the kids were singing that all day long the next day at school it's hilarious it was and that's and he's like oh yeah you you watched it then yeah yep yep i watched it (laughs) well uh on that same sort of note today we are doing a mount rushmore of 80s tv catchphrases oh yeah let's let's get in it okay Today's Rushmore is 
80s TV catchphrases. Yeah. Oh, Doug. Oh, no. <laughs> you didn't watch Doug? No. Uh-uh. Uh, it's probably a little bit after your time. Yeah. But it was probably dead in the middle of my time. Okay. I loved it. Rushmore. We're going to do, we're, we are going to rank it. We don't have to, but we are going to go four we are. to one. Mm-hmm. Before we get to one, we are going to do our honorable mentions. So, Cooley, mm. you ready? Yes. Do you have your list? I do. I got it right here. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Got it right here. Number four, sir. 80s. And by the way, I, I think this can be a TV show, a TV commercial. Right. Not infomercial, but you know, it was just it was on Got TV. It. it was on TV. Yeah. A lot. It either it's it's your thing, right? So it's like it's either sure. something that you just loved or it was something that was said a lot. You know, there's no criteria yeah. of like this is the best. Right, right, right. You know, there's no like I don't know how to This do. is the worst. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. It sounds like what Arnold would I was going to say, it sounded like Arnold. Yeah. Okay. Number four, 80s TV. Show me your list. Catchphrase. Uh, Go for it. Number four, sweet little old lady at the counter asking, where's, where's the, the beef? beef? Yes, we know it's a big fluffy Talk bun. to the manager. It is the manager. Where's the beef? He's putting us under the supervisor. If you ask me what you did, we should call the owner. At Wendy's, the hamburger we modestly call a single has more beef than the Big Mac or Whopper. We've got the owner. Hello? Where's the beef? Wendy's kind of people never ask, where's the beef? I don't think there's anybody there. I really don't. Huge, huge Wendy's. PBR, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, big time. Uh, PBR, what is that? Sorry. uh, uh, Did I say that right? Not PBR. That's Pabst Blue Ribbon. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Beer. Yeah. (laughs) PBA. PBA. Public Broadcasting. No, public. No, PSA. PSA. He got it. P- PBS, PMS. <laughs> Sorry, no. TBS. Oh, ah, TNT. Missed the Braves. Okay. Da, 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 yeah, da, where's da, the beef? That's NBC. And they and they were all like they they kind of they were very smart. They were. Uh, it was almost like a real movie. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well, it was the it was Geico before Geico was a thing. Yeah, that was their that was their shtick, and it was so funny because it was a sweet little old lady just yelling at the top of her lungs. Where's the beef? <laughs> <laughs> and I remember oh. like just her being served this huge, massive bun with this little tiny patty. Yeah, like the patty with was little square cheese on it, and that was it. And the pickle. And a pickle. The yeah. pickle almost showed how small the meat was. Yeah, exactly. The pickle was <laughs> almost the size of the <laughs> right. patty or whatever. Yeah, it was huge. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just looking at it, she's like, um, I don't know where my beef is. Where is it? So, but that was the big that was the big quote in the in the eighties that I remember, and I remember watching that with uh, the family, and just we all just started laughing because we thought she was just so funny. Well, and, and so precious. Some of those commercials, man, were so good. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> and so, well written. Don't don't get me wrong. There are some good ones out now, like the Dr Pepper football commercials. Oh my gosh, amazing! Have yeah. you seen the one where you get sucked in the transfer port- portal? I th- I think so. <laughs> he gets sucked in the transfer portal, and yeah. the, he's the quarterback. And the guy grabs him. He's like, "You can't leave." Oh, yeah. It's like you're, you know, you're the you're what the glue that keeps our team together. Yeah. He's like, "Well, give me your other hand." He said, "I can't. It's my Dr Pepper hand." <laughs> and he slides into the portal. He's like, "I understand." <laughs> and, then, and then they change their tune. They're like, "You can replace a quarterback." That's right. Yeah. You gotta That's have right. your Dr. Pepper hand. That's a good one, dude. So good. I thought you were gonna refer to a sweet one. Little, oh, little sweet, little sweet one. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's so good. And Dr. Pepper. This is on my honorables, 
mm-hmm. for 80s. Sliding down the banister. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go ahead and say it because it remind the where's the beef reminded me of this one. Oh, yeah. Pardon me. Would you have any Grey Poupon? Grey Poupon. Oh, my gosh. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but of course. <laughs> but of course, yeah. The finer things in life. Happily, some are affordable, like Grey Poupon Dijon mustard. Grey Poupon is so fine, it's even made with white wine. Its original French Dijon recipe adds distinctive flavor to beef, pork, and poultry, salad dressing and sauces, and, of course, sandwiches. So enjoy one of life's finer pleasures. Pardon me, would you have any Grey Poupon? But of course. Grey Poupon. It even has wine. Uh, And I actually looked it up. It's, would you have any Grey Poupon? But we would all say it as, do you have? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have, and so, man, we would all, you know, because I grew up in the country, mm-hmm. but we would, me and my friends would always <laughs> say it, uh, and my we would say it to my parents and stuff, too, when you were trying to be fancy. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, do you have any gray Poupon? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Dude, that's how I said it. Oh, It had to have been. Such good, uh, such good marketing. Man. Yeah, that's uh, a good one. Okay. That's a good number four. Mm-hmm. Okay. My number four. All right. My number four is from a show called Hill Street Blues. Oh. And it's, hey. Let's be careful out here. That's a good one. I I picked this one because I have heard so many people through my lifetime Uh say those phrases. Yeah. It's one of those phrases I didn't know where it come from until later. Where I'm like, oh gotcha. gosh, that's where that comes from. Yeah, you know. Yep. So, and yeah. then I also, I love the piano theme. Yeah. That's cool. Nice. Dude, that's good, bro. That's the other thing too. We talked about, about this, like when we did the eighty sitcoms. My God, the music. Yeah, so good. But that one's that's number four for me. Hey, I like it. Let's be careful out there. All right, especially in twenty twenty four. Number three. Happy New Year, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Happy New Year. Yeah. Number three. Eighties TV catchphrase. Cooley. All right. What you got? Gr- uh, grew up with this. Sh- well, I grew up with the show. I didn't watch a lot, a ton of it. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, grew up with this. <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> yeah, I should have said that. Uh, didn't watch a ton of it because I was like, I was really, really young. But I knew the catchphrase, and that was Nanu Nanu. Oh, Robin Williams. Mork and Mindy. Nanu Nanu. Yep, Robin Williams. Wow. One of the best I ever I've do heard it. so many people say that too. Nanu yeah. Nanu. <clears throat> uh, the funny thing is, this past Halloween, out trick or treating with the ne- nephew and niece, and uh, went to neighborhood close to close to them anyway. And there was this dude in this one cul de sac, and he had the Mork oh spacesuit on, and I was like, but at at first I didn't recognize it at first because I was like, I was like that's. A- obscure i was like that's not star trek that's not oh it's got to be mork and mindy and he was like he was he was probably my age yeah and uh so he's sitting on the um front step you know just handing out candy to all the kids and i just walk up and i just go nanu nanu he goes nanu nanu <laughs> <laughs> i was like man yes. those moments in life dude are the best yeah it was great i don't know why but that is the best yeah like, just him doing it back yep Exactly, oh. yeah. Because I haven't seen that show in so long, but I, I was like, I thought I recognized that the costume, and I was like, that's, that's got to be it. So when he answered back, and I was like, well, yep, he's Mork <laughs> from Mork and Mindy. That's so good. And and that, and that character is just great anyway because Robin Williams, he was one of the best ever to do it. So. That's a good one, man. So okay, yeah, another catchphrase, just two made up words. I know, or one word. I and that, that's the th- how do you know? You can't know. Yeah, like how do these things just stick? Yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah, it's weird. But yep. all right, my next one, you're gonna love. 
Numero tres. Because it requires a southern accent. Oh. And it is the show uh, called Alice. You know this one? Yep. Florence Jean Castleberry. Flow, baby. But she'd say, kiss my (laughs) grits. Oh, yeah. She'd be like, or they'd be like, is there anything else you want to say? And she'd be like, yeah. Kiss my grits. (laughs) And she'd be like, grits. Mayo, would you like to do something for me? Yeah, what? Kiss my grits. (laughs) It, yeah, exactly, God, dude. dude. Oh, wow, that dude. That was a that was a big accent. Yeah, for sure. Grits and that show. Yeah, I remember that show. That show was very very funny. And like my parents used to watch that show all the time. So I'd I'd catch some of it because you know like like I was super young. Yeah. So I just didn't understand all the humor. Yeah. But I remember Kiss My Grits for yeah. sure. Well, I think I use it. It reminds me too of. You and I, we were watching. I tell Sarah Carter this story all the time. You and I were watching like the CMA Country Music Awards or <laughs> yeah. something like that. Yeah. I, I don't remember what it was. And Jennifer Nettles was hosting. Yeah. And Willie, um, what's his last name? Uh, Robertson. Yeah. I was about to say Willie, Willie Turner, but that's a Steve Harvey joke. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody firing Willie Turner. <laughs> no. Willie Robertson from Duck Dynasty comes on the stage and. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, man, my kid and my husband right now are going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and she just, her accent, she made nuts into like three syllables. Yeah. Nuts. 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 And so now Sarah Carter and I do that. But I, the only reason we do that. That's is, the only thing I remember from that show, by the oh way. Oh, my god, Because it was so funny. <laughs> Let me see if we, uh, I think I got a clip here. Oh, would you like to do something for me? Yeah, what? Kiss my grits. Grits. <laughs> Kiss my grits. <laughs> Kiss my grits. That's extra syllable in that one syllable word. That's the word. thing. It's just so high pitched too. Grits. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. That's All a right. good one. That's my number three. I like. Yeah, I do like that one. All right. Cooley. By the way, that's an honorable for me. Number two. My number. Ooh. So here's the thing. My number two. Hmm. I feel like has to be your number two or your number one. Okay. That's just my my gut. Okay. Talking here. So go ahead. Number two is takes place on an island. Oh. Fantasy Island. Fantasy Island. The plane, the plane, <laughs> boss, the plane. <laughs> That was a big one back in the day. Like everybody quoted that one. And like that was like a one of those TV daytime dramas or whatever and just don't remember a whole lot of it, but yeah. I remember that, that little dude, little person and his de plane, de plane. It's just, yeah, it was just his accent. Yeah. He's like and uh and the dude that was in it, oh man, I forgot his name. The other guy he played Khan in The Wrath of Khan in Star Trek 2, <laughs> by the way. It's very random. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know him for, for, was for that and Fantasy Island. I was trying to see the, the cast. Um, but yeah, he he was the main guy. But uh, Tattoo was the little guy, mm-hmm. and he would scream, the plane, boss, the plane. I think it was in... If I remember correctly, I think it was in the intro of the show where he would yell okay. that. So, I, I don't know. Yeah. That one guy. I can't that. remember. I, I've heard people quote that. I haven't seen the show, though. Yeah. <laughs> Why does this stick? I, I just don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But I mean, it was a pretty famous show back in the day. Yeah. So. But it was like, yeah, it was one of those, like, I don't know if it was like a soap opera. I mean, I guess you could deem it as a soap opera. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But, you know. It was, I was a kid, so I didn't get it. So I didn't watch it. Well, time for my number two. That was your number two, right? It was. Okay. My number two. What you talking about, Willis? Uh, nice. Or what you talking about, Dad? <laughs> what you talking about? Uh, oh, yeah. Apparently, Gary Coleman improvised that. 
Oh, really? And after he did it, it stuck. Yeah. I have a clip nice. here of that too. Let's see. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? God, he's so sassy. Yeah, he is. Gosh. <laughs> I um surprisingly like the cutest kid on TV too, by that, the way. That um reruns went for a long time. Like, yeah, I actually watched a lot of this show. Yeah. In the 90s. Right. Um, Because I don't know if it was, I don't know how long it lasted in the 80s. I don't think it lasted that long. Yeah. But it kept going. And I I used to love when he was on there. Yeah. I mean, and that might be one of the most popular catchphrases of the 80s. Just period. Because it's still, still today. Yeah. People go, what you talking about, Willis? Yeah. So <laughs> I still use it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you want to do some honorables? Sure. Okay. I'll let you. Yeah, you go first. All right. Kiss my grits was one of them. <laughs> Kiss <sure>. my grits. <laughs> uh, I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh, the life. Uh, life alert. Yeah. It was called yeah. something else. Life call. That's yeah. what it was called in the 80s. Right. I've fallen. And I can't get up. We're sending help immediately, Mrs. Fletcher. <laughs> I uh, fall. Actually, before you continue, huh. there's a guy that's to me funnier than her. Um, Recently, hang on. When oh, I I'm having chest pain. Ill, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, having yeah. chest pain. That was another <laughs> one. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'm having chest pain. <laughs> I'm calling paramedics. And- <laughs> we would always quote that one after I fall and I can't okay. get up. Because those were those were. Uh, close to That's each so other. So good. All right, go ahead. <laughs> so, I remember, like, me and a friend would be like, I'd be like, I'm falling and I can't get up. And he'd be like, I'm having chest pains. <laughs> <laughs> and the class would lose it because uh, they knew what we were talking about. Uh, so that was a big one. Um, Norm. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers, brother. And he'd say, he would say, uh, he would walk in and he'd say, "Oh yeah, he had a response." No, he <clears throat> that was their response. He'd oh, walk okay. in and go, "Afternoon, everybody," and they go, "No." Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Afternoon, everybody. No. Norman. Better give me a tall one, guys. I like it. <laughs> and then, um, and one more, Mister Bill. Oh no, oh, Mister Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think of the office one. I think yeah, I know. I do too. He brought it back for me for sure. Oh no! Uh, and I'm sure there are more. I just don't have any more written right now. But those are my honorables. Right um, now. I had Mr. Bill. Yeah, for sure. I had Life Call. Nice. Um, here's one for you. Go go gadget. Oh wow! Yeah. Go go gadget legs. Go go gadget arms. Spectre gadget. I, I have this impression of the claw. Oh yeah, you know the yeah. He, he would always go. Next time, gadget. Next time, nailed it. <laughs> next time, gadget. I promise I'll get you next time. <laughs> Boom. Um, I kind I put this one as an honorable. Yeah, Kawabunga for the. Uh, Ninja Turtles. Yeah. That was mostly 90s, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, gotcha. Here's one from G.I. Joe. Knowing is half the battle. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Oh, yeah. G.I. Joe. Yeah. Real American hero. Uh, the Incredible Hulk. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. That's a good one. That is a good one. Man. Um, it's a great show. I had, I had Where's the Beef, too. Yeah. Okay, time for our number one. Numero. Oh, yeah. And you were right. This is my number one. What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? Gary Coleman. I, I was like, there's no way that's not on your the list. The best. The, the absolute cutest kid on television, especially when he did that stuff. Hilarious. Oh, man. It was so funny. And that was a good show, too. That was a great show, man. Mr. Drummond. <laughs> And uh, Willis, obviously. Yeah. His, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> so, yeah, great show. And uh, that catchphrase, yeah, 
It's still used today. I oh shoot, yeah, I still use it. I've, I've heard it this year. Yeah, <laughs> actually, no, I haven't because we're in day two. I heard it last yeah. year. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you've heard. It again. Yeah. Now we made it. Now we're keeping it alive. Yes. Twenty twenty four still keeps going. All right. Back for more. Twenty twenty four. Oh, I like that. Sure. Back for more in twenty twenty four. Well, let's do my number one. Okay. <laughs> you lost your headphones. <laughs> Uh, this one is not from a TV show. It's more of a TV um, ad campaign. It's not a commercial either, but it's my number one. Okay. I want my MTV. Oh, all right. Man, that was something that I said probably all the way through high school. Yeah. Because, I, you know, the song... Uh, oh, okay. The Dire Straight song, but then also like they had these commercials like this one. Oh, I remember that. America, demand your MTV. I want my MTV. I want my MTV. I want my MTV. Call your cable company and say I want my MTV. <laughs> TV. Billy Idol. All right. I want my MTV. I want my MTV. Ow! 24 hours a day on cable TV. I want my MTV, MTV. Anyway. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come said that all the time. I don't yeah. know, like, I just... It was huge for me. Yep. And that's why I was like, oh, that's not not even a doubt. Yeah. But what you're talking about, Willis, almost was my number one. I got you. So, it was your number two, so. Yeah. And if we're doing just straight TV shows, I'd have to pick a different number one. But uh, we clarified that it could be a commercial. And that last one was a commercial. It's more of a promo for the for the channel itself. Eh, still a commercial. And then Where's the Beef was a commercial. But they yeah. still, they count. Oh, yeah. They definitely count. Well, I mean, they were quoted all the time. Exactly. So. So, uh, before we continue, we're going to do a little ad. <laughs> for Ken and Plumbing. Nice. Uh, Clint has sponsored our show since day one. <sighs> yeah. And he is the greatest plumber that has ever, ever lived. Yep. In fact, I got, I got something for you. Name a plumber. Can you name a plumber? Uh, no. 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 Just Clint. Just Clint. Cannon. Cannon plumbing. Cannon plumbing. I always want to say McPlumbing. <laughs> Cannon, Cannon McPlumbing. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's the greatest. I've used him multiple times. Yep. I have friends who've mu- used them multiple times. Churches mm-hmm. have used them. You know, so for personal, yeah. commercial, for sport. Like yeah. if you just want to come out there and time him for like how long it will take him to fix. He's good at that. He's really good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. The uh, the Olympics and flushing. Oh, a, a master. Yeah, flushing New York. Got him. Boom. <laughs> U.S. Open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. that's great. You'll clean your McDukies out. Yeah. Oh, Lord. What? Lord. McVomit. Kiss my grits. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't get as high. Kiss my grits. Well, yeah, she's definitely a soprano there. Yeah. Well, I wanted to surprise you with this. Something that we have to bring back to the show. Okay. And that is. Oh yes. That was the more along the themes of our '80s hair metal. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, to you know, I I was thinking about this today. I'm like, it is a shame that we don't do this day in history anymore. So yeah, I want to start. It's a damn doing, shame. Let's <laughs> start doing it more often. <laughs> yeah, because some of our best content has yeah. came out of it, like the uh, the Neil Armstrong moon clip. <laughs> right. Yeah. The 
uh, Thomas Edison first recording. Oh my gosh! Like, yes, all of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So for we, sure, I just you know I just want to bring it back. So okay, today like we're it. gonna do January eighth. Okay, January eighth, seventeen ninety. Ooh, so it was a couple years back. Yeah, a couple years back. Uh, U.S. President George Washington mm. delivered the first State of the Union. He's on my Mount Rushmore, by the way. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, he delivered the first State of the Union. Oh, wow. Can you imagine that? There's okay. never been one. Yeah. Hey, guys. Well, I guess there's never been a president either. I, uh, I'm the first one, so... yeah. Gonna do this the way I want to. Right. You know? I wonder how that went though. And this union just happens to be in this state. <laughs> so welcome to the state of the union. <laughs> That's hilarious. Just keep saying the same. Today's state of the union. <laughs> the union of the state. <laughs> I would like to state <laughs> we are unionized <laughs> statefully. Statefully. <laughs> and as our state <laughs> and this union will unify the state and the union, we will have a state of the union every year in this state of the union. <laughs> and then we're going to just keep having more states. <laughs> More and more. <laughs> it doesn't even need to be connected. We'll go out in the middle of the ocean and just, that's a state. Yeah. That's a state. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Aye. And that is the state of the union. Ah. That's great. And that's how it went. Uh, 1946. You Ooh. see why I brought this back. Fast forward. Oh, yeah. It's very fun. Mm-hmm. Elvis Presley. Receives his first guitar. In when? 1946. Oh, wow. He was 11 years old. Mm. And the guitar cost $6.95. I'm sure. Yeah. Paid he, $7. 11 years old? Yeah. Man, he wasn't nothing but a hound dog then. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. I. That's kind of crazy because they were talking about how it had kind of changed his whole life getting that guitar. Wow. And I would I would say... Uh, yeah, I would say a little bit. <laughs> I wonder what seven, how much seven dollars was back in 1946. Let's look up mm. CPI calculator. Six ninety. Well, I'll just do seven dollars. So 1946. Uh, A year which will live <laughs> in the Union of States. States of the Union. So. <laughs> In 1946, that was $118. So, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. So, they definitely got it at the Walmart. <laughs> Nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That happened. Uh, that was actually right, right after World War II because World War II oh, was yeah. 1945 or ended in 1945. That's right. All right. You dodged that draft. January 8th, 1972. Oh, the NCAA grants freshman eligibility in football and basketball. Oh, okay. That seems that seems late. Yeah, but I guess that is right. Yeah, Eligi Yeah, eligibility, but they couldn't. I don't think they could start though. Okay, well, I know they couldn't in basketball. Let's see here. Before freshmen were eligible to play on varsity, they played on junior varsity teams, no matter how dominant, blah, 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 blah. So yeah. that's probably what it was. Yeah. Is that they could actually be on the varsity team. Right. But they couldn't. Yeah. They probably just came off the bench or whatever. Yeah. If they played. That was 1972. And I've saved the best for last, my friend. Oh, here we go. January 8th, 1992. I'm going to try to. Get through this without laughing. Okay. President H. W. Bush. Okay. Late president. Mm -hmm. Vomits on the lap of the Prime Minister of Japan. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh yeah. He uh, was meeting. I forgot about that. You remember this? It was like nineteen. I think I said nineteen. I think I remember hearing about it. I never never saw it. 
So Prime Minister Kichi Miyazawa, yep, probably didn't do that right, was hosting a dinner for the president in honor of the State Union, Oh, uh, the state visit. <laughs> uh, Bush was 67 at the time, appeared to be in fine health. Yeah. Played double tennis with the Emperor of Japan and his son that morning. During the dinner, however, Bush suddenly fell ill. He leaned forward, then fell to his side and vomited into the lap of his host, the prime minister. Wow. He ended up being okay, but he did like faint after that. Really? Yeah. Wow. And uh, I'm just like, yeah. No. Oh my gosh. That. I hate that. Is. <laughs> That's hilarious though. <laughs> you vomit. Like it reminds me one time <laughs> at work, I, w- I went to go ask my CEO a question. This was years ago. And I was in my head, like I was just thinking a lot. Hmm. And I had a cup of coffee. And as soon as I entered in his office, I was thinking so hard that I let go of my coffee cup. Oh, wow. So I had this coffee just spill all into my CEO's office, all in his carpet. And I was like, you want some coffee? (laughs) (laughs) So I I saved it with humor. But I was so embarrassed. Always. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I just literally just dropped yeah a full cup of coffee into his office oh my gosh it was hilarious Jeez. <laughs> but that's still not as embarrassing as puking into the prime minister of japan's lap yeah that's maybe he did it on purpose think so no 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 i do not no uh-huh. <laughs> no i guess he wasn't used to all that food maybe who knows I have no idea. You like this uh, sushi, raw fish? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll do it. I love your tires, Yaka. Oh, <laughs> that'll do it for this year's State of the Union. Also, I've always wanted to Union of the State give a speech, kind of like they do in the office, where you just you're just where Jim tricks Dwight into giving speeches like. The people of the past. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Welcome to the Twerk <laughs> Ethics Show. <laughs> you got to pound the table. You got to pound. We will not have a bad show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Subscribers, you are on our side. Non-subscribers, you are not <laughs> on our side. Thank you. And that. You must be obliterated. Is the State of the Union. What? No. No, Just you're kidding. No, you're, you're fine. Yeah. But that is the end of the show. Yeah. We are obliterating the continuation of the show. Yeah. I'd say this is a good start to old 2024. I love it. Yeah. And we we every device was recording. Right. Everything's in the red. You know. So, which is good, by the way. You're right, though. We, we uh, should have started with Happy New Year. We should have. We will end with it. Yeah. So happy new year. Yep. Thanks for all of you who have been with us for the whole time, Mm -hmm. three years. Uh, Thank you for the new subscribers. Let's make this year the best year of all time. Oh my gosh. Twerk Nation, you can do it. We believe in you. We do. Right here. Ow, that hurt. (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) There's a little too much love. I'm sorry. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're dude. I'm looking forward to this year. It's going to be a great year. Last year was exciting, and and I, if if we just keep this up and keep doing what we're doing, I'm pretty excited about old 2024. And this year, we're gonna go to the moon. Woo! I'm on the moon. <laughs> it's one of the best ever. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll see you next time. Later. It's the Twerk Ethics Show. It's Resolutions the down the toilet. All ready for me. Show.